Filling up the rig. We got some snow. We in the tundra. <laughs> you already know we're going drifting today. Already got some snow on her. It's gonna fill this pig up. See if we can hit a couple of the drift spots out here, man. Looking forward to it. Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and in today's video, we are back at it. With well, a very cold winter's day, if you guys can probably already tell. If you guys have seen the title of today's video, uh, we're in the truck. It's pretty cold outside, um, but I'm in town. I'm here. I want to do some snow drifting. I've been kind of getting the itch. I've just been kind of wanting it to snow a little bit so I could take my rear wheel drive truck out and uh, do a little bit of drifting. So, like I say, we are in town. Uh, I'm going to hit a couple of my favorite spots here. Uh, we are going to be running the truck with no traction control. Hold the button for five seconds. Turn that off real quick. Traction's off. Hold it again for another five. And now we are completely disabled. Traction control off fully, as you can see. So yeah, I'm just going to make my way uh, to a couple decent spots here. Actually, I got the wind booster. Let's go ahead and throw that on sport mode as well. Probably going to run the truck in manual mode, uh, but it's been a, about a... <sighs> It's been a couple of years, I think, maybe a year and a half since I've actually been out uh, snow drifting this thing. Um, so yeah, we're going to hit a couple of spots, hopefully uh, don't run into any law enforcement, but wouldn't surprise me. I did see a couple of cops out here, but hopefully they're more so worried about people that are in ditches and have like that have had accidents than uh, you know, guys out in their pickup truck drifting. Uh, let me get my seatbelt on here. iPod today, but I do have a selfie stick, so I'm gonna kind of position the camera uh, on the passenger seat, looking forward with the wide-angle lens. So hopefully we get some decent shots out here. So when we get to the first spot, uh, fire up the camera and let you guys know uh, what's going down. Okay, so the passenger seat, from what I can tell, wasn't really giving me uh, the greatest view, so I just got you guys propped up in the driver's side headrest. Do have my dash cam rolling. It gets about an hour's worth of footage, so I don't expect myself to be out here for quite that long. Uh, but if we have to, if this footage is no good, then hopefully the dash camera uh, is capturing some stuff so we have arrived to spot number one i'm just gonna scope it out real quick and uh, make sure that there's nobody around before i start whipping this thing and it looks like we've had a few people in here already which is a good con i think that's a good sign we are sideways I don't know what that was that just fell on the ground, but our camera is not not holding up whatsoever in this spot. Maybe we'll see if I can just hold it while I'm drifting here. We are in drive, so let me throw on tow haul and put it in a Sport Plus, see how that works. Now we're, there's a couple of spots here that are kind of dry not a huge layer of snow here on the ground whipping though whipping pretty good now I'm not sure about this selfie stick angle I was kind of hoping to get this thing propped up somewhere but I guess we'll have to rely on that dash cam footy here <laughs> Uh, so I'm not too keen on this parking lot. It does seem like there's quite a bit of like um, I wouldn't say dry spots, but spots where the snow hasn't really collected. So I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, See if we can move on to the next spot here. So we got her in second now sport mode Like there's just quite a layer of ice yeah, there's quite a layer of ice under here. 
And I don't know if you can hear, but it sounds like my LSD is just, I should say my open diff is being open AF right now, but uh, let's see, quite a few cars in this lot right now. I don't think this is be, gonna be a good spot for us. Okay, so we're in the Canadian Tire parking lot here in second. Let's drop her down to first and see what happens here. Definitely a ton of torque there in first gear. I wouldn't mind keeping her in second here though. Okay, so second gear seems to be pretty good. Uh, I got the auto LSD off and I turned part of the traction control on because it seemed like it was just opening at the wrong times. Uh, so I'm hoping this is gonna wor work out for us here. Do a little U-turn. Yeah, see, we are going straight down to the concrete, which I'm not overly thrilled about here. Whoa, big understeer there. Whipping, whipping. Woo wee. See, now the thing about it is when you catch the road there, right? You just kind of, when you get traction, the car kind of lurches in the wrong direction here. I'm going to let this car fucking pass and do a little, uh, little Yui in this little, uh, cul de sac here. That is <laughs> pretty icy right there. Wow, man, there is a serious sheet of ice underneath this stuff here. All right, I think we're gonna have to move to the next spot here. Uh, it is pretty icy, but I do know a spot that's a little less public that I should be able to spend a little bit more time at here. So I'm gonna head there now. Should probably turn my traction control on now that we're actually on the road though. Alrighty, so we just pulled up to a spot that's a little less known, a little more off the beaten path here. Uh, I did bring the Beater Drift G35 here a long time ago. Uh, actually, coincidentally, somebody rolled up on me in this spot. But uh, we're just gonna hit it and quit it basically. I might throw the camera off to the side and get a couple of shots from far away here. Now you can tell this is a big, heavy truck compared to the G35. When that back end starts slipping, you better be ready to catch it, man, because she swings around pretty good. Around that pole here. Whoa. You can hear stuff in the back of the truck sliding around. Picking up some speed here. Now I am one-handing her, so it's making me a little nervous in these tints. These tints are so dark, I can't barely see anything out here. Whoa, feel that tire bite when it hits some solid concrete there. I'm thinking I'm gonna put the camera down over here, just on the tripod and get a couple of shots, I guess. <laughs>
All right, so part of me wishes that I had the camera in wide angle mode. I don't know how much of that you guys are actually getting, but from what I just saw, kind of going in and out of frame there. Watch that pull. Yeah, I think this is all gravel right now. I just hit a big old bump there. Whoa. Bruh. Woo! We were getting sideways. I had to throw that freaking steering wheel back, man. All right, I'm gonna hit one or two more spots and then I think we're gonna call her a night here. Alrighty, so our next spot is a church here. It should be pretty good because, well, it is a Wednesday afternoon and church is usually on Sundays. Not too familiar with this parking lot, so we're just gonna take it nice and slow. Until we figure out the lay of the land here nice big wide open so it should be nice provided nobody has already been in here Woo! damn bro we were cooking in that cooking around that turn right there hit the gas a little swing her back around See if we can bust like a figure eight or something here. Nice and easy. We're in second gear. Whoa, wheels, front wheels just understeering like a mofo. I think the big problem is that once I go over it once, when my wheels, my, when my front wheels hit it after I've gone over it once, they just tend to slide. There's not really much traction at the front, man. And those are brand new snow tires at the front too, so that kind of is disappointing, but uh, it's to be expected with an open diff. Whoa, watch that pull, bruh. Yeah, it's just, it's too icy. The conditions right now are just not ideal, unfortunately can feel it bouncing and skipping and hopping man big drifty there whoa had to catch her coming back around there what a beauty man well, I don't know. I think this is uh, kind of a bust, kind of a success. So I guess we're going to do our outro here. So I'm kind of disappointed with the way that the truck performed. Uh, now, it is to be expected, obviously, with this being like an open differential, rear-wheel drive truck. Uh, I don't know how bad that wind's going to be. Yeah, this is a two-wheel drive truck, no four-wheel drive. The front tires are brand new, but I think there's just too much ice underneath this tiny bit of snow. Uh, we don't even really have like a half an inch, so it's more so frozen underneath. Uh, but overall... The truck performed okay. We had a little bit of fun. I got out, uh, burned off a little bit of steam, which I'm happy to do. So yeah, I'm thinking we're probably gonna put an end to this one. So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys wanna see more Tundra content, um, definitely stick around. We got a lot more happening. I don't do that much to this truck because I mean, it's a Tundra and there's not much maintenance needed. And I'm just trying to keep this thing uh, pretty much as OEM as possible. So uh, that's probably why you guys aren't seeing as many mod videos. Uh, but yeah, my hand is cold. It is freezing. I'm thinking we're probably going to put an end to this one. So with that being said, I'm your boy Denali, aka Don Squally. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace.